All right, we're doing a holiday card. And these are some basic instructions on how to recreate this card because this is what we're doing. Um, you got to do it for a grade. Okay, so I'm going to give you some basic stuff. I'm not going to walk you through step by step, but I'll give you an idea how to do it. So this card right here, we should you should be able to do it. Um, so here we have Photoshop. All right, so obviously the number one thing on Photoshop is when you start a new file, for these holiday cards, you're going to file, new, blank file, and when you get in here, you're changing this to photo, uh, we're going landscape, 5x7, transparent background, you hit OK. All right, once you hit OK, it looks like this. You're always going to pull your guidelines out from the sides here, and you're going to mark the center. Okay, so you're going to, you have these rulers at the top, if you don't have them, you need to go to view, rulers, and they'll show up. All right, so the top part, it should be at 3.5. You come down the side, it should be at 2.5. And then on the edges, we're going to mark a quarter inch in on each side. So you can see right here, I came over two lines. This is one inch, this is half an inch, quarter inch. Pull your guideline from the side again, drop it right there. Quarter inch from over here, you have one inch. This is half an inch, quarter inch, drop it. Okay, same thing here, one inch, half inch, quarter inch, you need a line here. On the bottom, a quarter inch from five. All right, so you create this to create a, uh, give us an idea of where things are gonna sit. Next thing you do is you put a red background. I've already done it. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to do it. You should know how to do it. All I did is I went to Google and did a search on images for red backgrounds found one I liked, saved it, opened it up in Photoshop, and then drag and drop it onto the, um, the document we've created, okay? And then stretch it to fit. Next, you're gonna do a, because we have, see I have a red background, and we're gonna create this green square in the middle here. All right, so basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna create a green um, rectangle. So I used the tool here on the side, rectangle tool, made sure that it was green. Actually, you know what? I didn't even do that. Sorry. You can do it that way if you choose to, but I did the same thing I did for the background. I went into Google and did a, tie, uh, did a search for green backgrounds, found one I liked, saved it, opened it, and then I drag it and drop it on here and resized it to fit right on the guidelines here and made sure to add a stroke up, up here to the green um, background. All right, next, we need these brown boxes around the edge, okay? So again, here's my brown box. I did a search on Google, brown backgrounds. Found this one I like. Um, I just drag it and drop it onto the card. Um, it pops up on there. And then I put it right where I want it. So for this example, I resized it, put it in the top corner, gave it a stroke also. Okay, now I need one in every corner. So instead of dragging and dropping it every time, all I did is I right clicked on my layer, hit duplicate, duplicate layer, and so it created the exact same size, which is really important. And then I just drug it out and dropped it in the other corner duplicated the layer again, drug it out, dropped it there, drug it out, dropped it there, okay? Now here's the thing, I'm gonna give you a break this time. If you decide you wanna do it like this with a red box in the middle, you have to make sure all these lines are right, lined up perfect. If they're not lined up perfect, um, I'm gonna have you fix it. You're gonna have to zoom in, fix it. So I'm gonna give you a break though for this if you're watching this video, okay? Here's what I did. I took the red background that I had and I drug it and dropped it in again. And then I did the square in the middle. But if you want, you don't have to line it up perfect. You can kind of have it hang over the brown boxes here um, like I did. But it is important that this box is in the very center. So I used my guidelines and I made sure that these squares at the top and bottom and on the sides lined up perfect with the guidelines. All right. Um, so we have our boxes. You gotta put your snowman candy cane and this is holly this is holly right here on the corners and you have to have that as well all right 
I'm not going to walk through all those steps, but I'm going to show you real quick um, how that needs to look and a couple of tips to help you um, save some time or make it a little easier. So here's what I have. I have this snowman. It looks perfect. Okay, it's perfect snowman in the top corner. But then I have this other snowman down here, and you can see he has a white box around the edge. Your guys cannot have these white boxes. All right, it's got to be like this snowman here. So you have two options. All right, when you go on to Google, and I did a search for a snowman, you type in, uh, type in snowman GIF. Um, sometimes you can find the snowman that makes it a little easier. So I found this snowman, and I clicked on him. Here he is right here. Clicked on him, and it brought him up. And you'll notice that he, when he pulls up, he does not have the white background or, or white square around him. It's just clear. So I right-clicked him, saved him, and when you bring him into Photoshop, he does not have a uh, white square around him, which is perfect. All right. However, if I go into Google and I do a search just for snowman, I might find somebody like this gentleman here. This guy right here has a white um, square box around him, and that's fine because I can fix it. All right, but maybe you find a snowman you like better. Okay, so I saved him, and then I brought him over here and dropped him in. Now here's the thing: um, if you decide you want to do that, you're gonna have to erase this white um, square around him. So I've selected the layer that he is in. I go to my eraser tool on the left, and I just start erasing all around him. But the key is, is if you're gonna do that, you gotta zoom in and get it perfect all around him and I'm not going to do it right now because um, you don't want to watch me erase a snowman but you get the idea I need two snowmen on here or is it snowmen they have? let me see yep two snowmen you see how their snowmen are okay um, if you decide when you find a snowman though you also can just duplicate him okay pull him out and if you drag the corners here, you can flip him around and make him face the other way. And drop him down here if you want to do that too. Okay, but you need two snowmen. Alright, and then the last things you need, I'm not going to show you how to do this. <clears throat> Same thing, candy cane here. Candy cane here. Holly, holly. When you have it done, let me know. Show it to me. It is for a grade. Any questions, um, either go back and watch parts of the video or ask me.